And finally, we have the two clusters, the two projects that are all registered together. We'll go ahead and load all the scans. We've got a green light for the scan manager between the two different clusters, each cluster being the projects that were done on two different dates. Hi, this is Nick with Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're working in Pharaoh's scene software. We've got a uh, problem where if we've got two different projects, we want to bring them together. We want to combine projects. In this case, uh, this may happen to you. You've got a team that goes to a site, spends a day or a week, but they're not able to finish everything that there is to be scanned on that site. So they come back, they register the project, it's all put together. Then a day, a week, or a month later, when you're able to get back on the site, another team goes out, they scan from the point that the first team left off, and they scan the rest of the project. Now they've gone back to the hotel, they have registered the scans together from their um, work, which is maybe a day or two or five, but you've got two different projects that need to be combined because it's really only one project. Now, pharaoh has got a, uh, a workflow for this. I'm not a huge fan of it, and I will show you why. Let's take a look at our project here. As you can see, it is fully registered, and we'll just call this day one doesn't matter what it looks like right now, but day one is first floor scan number one through second floor scan number seven. There's a reason we want to hold on to those two numbers, because as we bring in the next project, we go to the import icon at the top of the screen and we see we can import scans, import projects. Things. We're just going to import the project. So we're going to go to the proper file, simply click on the project. Here's the problem. When you would think the smart thing or the ideal way to do this would be to continue having the first day's project in one cluster and then bringing in the second day or the second group's scan uh, project into a completely separate cluster both clusters now would ideally be registered and have green lights. Now all you're doing is putting the two clusters from the two different scan projects together. But what's happened, and according to Faro, if you've got two projects that share, say, a ending point and a beginning point, it's a threshold scan, um, it's going to notice, according to Faro, that there are common XYZ points in the uh, ending scan of the first project and the beginning scan of the second. So it just dumps them all into one big cluster. What does that do? Well, let's take a look at what that does. Now, as this builds out, what we're going to see is, in this case, the first day, which is the first floor uh, up to maybe a quarter of the way through the second floor of this building. That's going to come together as you would expect it would. It's got full green lights. It's going to be registered properly. Then as it gets down and you see the second day or the second project that's been, been brought in, as that loads, now you're going to start seeing the deviation. As you can expect, you've got two separate theoretical clusters that are per perfectly registered on their own that have been dumped together. So what's going to happen? You can see it begin to happen right now. The first set of scans came together perfectly. And then if we look at the project from the top, now you see, obviously, the second set of scans coming in and they are not registered or lined up correctly with you know the previous so this is the problem there's a couple different ways obviously we can handle this we can simply go to the scan manager 
and we can update the scans. That means we're going to be re-registering all of the scans. As you can imagine, it's going to be time consuming and it may actually create problems for us. If you've worked and seen a lot, you know what I mean. The second way we could do this is once everything's all loaded, we can create a second cluster and then we can manually go in and grab the scans from the other project, separate them out, register them, which should come together immediately. Now, ideally, we've got the two clusters we should have had when we brought the two projects together. Then we're going to register the two, the two clusters together instead of a large number of scans in cluster one dumped in with a large number of scans in cluster number two. And we are just about loaded. My experience has been that creating a manual second cluster and then dragging the one project into it, registering two clusters together has given better, faster results than trying to re-register all the scans that have been dumped into the single cluster. Now, you guys uh, maybe have had different experience with this. And again, there's probably a bunch of different ways to do this. We're just showing you one way to combine two projects that are, in essence, the same scope, the same site from two different dates. Now we go in, right click, new and cluster. We'll leave it as scans two. Now we can take uh, initially, we were up through second floor scan seven. So that would be here. We're going to grab scan eight to scan 19. And we're going to move those into this other scans cluster. And we'll just drag and drop those scans into our second folder. So we've got a, two clusters. One cluster is for the original project. The other cluster is now for the project that was brought in. Again, same project, two different days, but because of the way that Faro uh, incorporates the import project, uh, we are forced to go in and manually drag the scans from the project that was brought in and separate them from the scan or the, the project that it was brought into. So now, the original scan project and the new, the original scan project is in the first scans folder. We're going to go ahead because now after importing those scans, we're going to have to re-register it. And the second scans cluster is going to have to be registered as well. So we can just quickly run in and perform our automatic registrations, which should take no time at all. Obviously I've, jumped forward on you guys a little bit here. Uh, no need to sit and watch this thing cook. But what we've got is the two scans clusters that have now been registered separately. <clears throat> One is the, uh, obviously the project cluster that we had originally. The second is the project that was pulled in and imported. We had to now separate them into two clusters. We are going to create a third cluster called um, combined. Let's, what we're just going to call it. And then we're going to register these two clusters together after we dump them both into the combined cluster. We'll start the automatic registration and we will let that cook. Now the clusters are done registering. We have a green light on our scan manager of the two clusters, each cluster being two different projects. And our point cloud is aligned. Again, I don't expect that this is going to be a workflow that after the fall of 2021 uh, may hold true because I'm sure that Pharaoh is going to uh, fix this very soon. But this is the process that we were given uh, for combining two projects that are uh, matching up at the beginning of the second project matches with the end of the first. 
looking for those XYZ points that are common, it will automatically dump all of those scans from the second project into the cluster of the first. So you're going to have some moving manually of scans, creating a new cluster, re-registering of clusters. It's extra steps that shouldn't really have to be done. I hope this helps you guys out. If you've got any questions, please let us know. You can email us at info at atlanticlaserscanning.com. You can call us at 800-955-3960. Don't forget, Atlantic Laser Scanning has Faro laser scanners for rent and sale. And uh, we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.